world champion Clive Branson, who now fishes professionally, enters one competition or another each week. So we thought we'd follow him to three open events. As a draw will take place shortly for the fishing areas, known as pegs, it's a good idea to have a look at the previous results. May Vince, today's competition organiser, takes the entrance fees and the pool money. Yes, a few bob could be won today. are known as flyers, so everybody is after one of those. Once the draw by each competitor has taken place, the peg is registered against the angler's name. If you haven't fished the water before, then some local advice is worth having, provided it's accurate. In today's competition, there are over 70 anglers taking part from all over the country. On this section of the Avon, a tributary of the Mighty Seven, competitions are held nearly every week throughout the season, so it's quite well fished. The all-in signals the start of the competition, and then anglers can bait their swims and begin fishing. Feeding two swims, information given to him suggested that he start on a stick float with a view to going on to a waggler. Clive's bait was bronze maggots to catch chub, roach and gudgeon. There are two different opinions on disturbances in the water. Some say that it turns the fish off, the other says that it turns the fish on. However, on this stretch, it's the same for everybody. Well, it was soon obvious that Clive wasn't having much luck, so he swapped over to the waggler. It's a bit of a burst kick here, so...
Clive was keeping an eye on one of his neighbours, a very experienced angler, Ken Giles, who had opted for the pole. Another experienced angler, Frank Barlow, was also trying with a pole. Well, there's one caught using the pole, and it looks like a gudgeon. Dave Angel, a local star, just pulled out of a fish there. He was using the swim feeder method, sometimes called the plastic pig, which also proved to be a popular method on this water. chub on this peg, isn't it? Yeah, there is. That looks like a two-pound chub that was taken on the feeder. Rules oh, state no, no. that each angler must always what? remain what? within one yard what? from the peg, so don't go wandering off. Seems that bronze maggots are a very popular bait for match fishing. Jan Porter had drawn a flyer and was off to a good start. He'd started on a stick float with two swims on the go. Yeah. 
not showing yet on the lag there. And if this dries up, I'm also going to click on the feed. I think it's going a bit loose feed over here. Yeah. Tom's been on the pole really on and he seems to have success on it. Well, he's been doing well on the pole lately, hasn't he? Yeah. In the Norbert League. He did last, last week, didn't he? Yeah. He won his section two weeks ago off. Well, 76, I think. Yeah. 75. And he had 76 of Gudgeon. Meanwhile, Clive had been struggling, mainly catching minnows. He was hoping for some bonus fish to try and make up his weight. Well, he wasn't having much luck either. In fact, the only one enjoying himself at this end of the river was his dog. He was having a wonderful time. Anyway, Clive kept battling on, feeding both his swims little and often. I must admit, it was a very pleasant day on the river, just watching the world go by. But rain had been forecast and sure enough, The section of the river known as the Island Pegs had been doing much better than further upstream. Tom Pickering is another true professional. He brought along his assistant or runner who kept him informed of the other angler's successes or failures.
The island pegs were doing very well indeed. Jan Porter had hooked into another two pound chub and was doing very well. Note how he holds the fish over the net when removing the hook. Any slip and the loss of a fish like that could lose him the competition. Since the abolition of lead shot, the swan population has certainly recovered. At least the anglers have been doing their part. I got a fish up. <laughs> Are you sure that rod's going? Clive had caught a couple of small dace, but today his weight was down. When you're competing, you're allowed to have as many swims on the go as you like, but only one rod at a time. He's in yet again. Another small gudgeon. These were unfortunately all small fish compared to the fish that were being taken on the island pegs. Downstream was doing far better. Jan Porter was certainly doing very well. Yet another chub and a very good weight too. All out signals the end of the competition. The stewards now proceed along the river bank for the weigh-in. Tom Pickering had too many fish on the scales at once. They had to weigh him several times. Seven five. The day's honours looked as though they were going to Jan Porter. Most of them. On the pole. On the pole. Most, most of them. Most of them. Most of them. Six 
date. Yeah. 1714. Well done, Tony. Well done, Jan. Yeah, thanks. Well and first today, the winner, Jan Porter, 1714, take seven. Afterwards, Clive had a chat with Jan about the methods he'd been using.